we're on here, we're going to get started with this Mercury retrograde uh, class in just about five minutes. Hope everybody had a wonderful day. Good evening. Hi, Miss Kim. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Doing well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi, Miss Kim. Hey, how are you? It's been busy. I'll get um your information to you. Uh, you text me this morning, but I I've been on the go. Um. A busy week so it is five o'clock the others that um actually you know paid for the class they can get in on the video but i'm going to start so um mercury and retrograde um and thanks for your support i thank you guys for your support i wanted to start doing the retrograde classes because i feel like it you know through others um assimilation of information, it causes people <clears throat> um, to be afraid or the information is put out concerning the effects of mercury or any retrograde um, causes people to be afraid because others um, translate information according to, um, it could be according to the way that someone would function that is not um, actually working on themselves spiritually. So what happens in the retrograde time is a time for you know, uh, introspection, which means that you are caused to consciously go within and um, old thoughts and feelings will come up that you need to deal with and that's, a number one um, basis of um, the retrograde, but with Mercury, with it being a communication planet, that means that the communication can be foiled because people are still trying to think and um, navigate through life the way that they do when they're in a um, normal procession concerning the planet. So the planet itself, is calling us to slow down and to look at things um, from an introspective way. Now, this is Mercury. Um, all of them are gonna have their own aspects, but Mercury, it also deals with consciousness because if you don't break down the fact that it deals with consciousness, then you will not be able to understand the communication factors. Um, it is um, communicated in a lot of um, descriptions that you know, your communication will um, be, it, it will fail. It could cause problems with your relationships. It could cause problems with the partnerships. Um, you shouldn't sign paperwork, this, that, and the other. But I feel like the main thing that we should look at is why not become um, fearful. Um, because if you perceive a thing in fear, then it shall be. So to turn that around, it is a planet that deals with consciousness. So, you know, think about something that you were doing in um, December of 2018 and Scorpio 
and retrograde Mercury were um, together. Um, I, I was reading for six days and I looked back at that and it, I was thinking, you know, I was thinking about a relationship um, and other relationships. I was thinking about my finances. Um, and I, the key thing is I was thinking, you know, and I was thinking because that's what the retrograde had me doing. Now, in perspective to Scorpio, because it is a planet that deals with in-depth, meaning that you have to go to like the bottom of the ocean. It's going to take you to the bottom. And you can get scenarios in the retrograde of Mercury because it's communication. And it also deals with things that we just press down and we don't deal with. Traumas. Uh, we keep going. Um, things that um, will come up in our consciousness when we sleep because we haven't dealt with it. Um, what it's saying is it's time for you to kind of slow down and deal with this. If I bring it up to you like this here, and um, maybe your mom and you were at the mall when you were a child and you were misplaced and so you don't like to go to the mall and so now I'm bringing this up in retrograde season and you could even have had night terrors about it because you were afraid because she couldn't find you. It's trying to communicate something that was suppressed. And that's what Scorpio does. But in the um, Scorpio um, area of the eighth house, it is also going to deal with your finances. Um, it's going to deal with sexuality and it's going to deal with, um, I can't, let me read off because some of this stuff, I can't remember everything. Um, um, it's the higher and the lower nature. So a man can, or a woman, they can go high and low. Um, this is a, the planet of Pluto. Um, and then also Mars is involved with it. Um, power and control, transformation, destruction and rebirth, mysteries of life. So in this, this here time of retrograde, I, I feel like it's not going to be, it's gonna be more purging, but it's not gonna be where people are thinking about fear or worry because it is a retrograde. I feel like people should step back, especially those that teach with me or work with me in teaching and really assess that there's things that they need to deal with within their psyche, within your consciousness. And if it comes up, it can be frightening, but it's coming up because it's saying, hey, we haven't dealt with this. You know, we, I, I've dreamt to you about it, but you didn't even take care of it then. And so I'm coming up now. And, you know, even to look at someone that has had um, issues with sexual trauma, you could dream about that. Or you could dream that you have overcame it because you dealt with it. Because the eighth house deals with sex. It deals with um, the alluring factors of sex. Um, out in the world, um, on a collective level, this retrograde could cause um, people to have to deal with um, the traumas. But also, you know, there's people that might deal with um, incidents of um, rape and victimization, right? It's not to say that you're going to um, be in that, but, um, and that's why we pray. But I believe that because it is a sexual planet, other people are going through the retrospection time. And, 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 and rather than them knowing themselves, they will act upon the impulses. You, you understand what I'm saying? And so that's why it's important to um, educate yourself according to what is happening. Um, I don't think that anything has changed under the sun. Um, these planets did the things that they're doing um, back in antiquity, which means that people survived. Um, I, what I would like is for people to get a piece about the transactions that happen in, in the planetary, um, um, in the universe. Because if you get a piece within you 
about the heavens, then you'll have a peace in your body because we're all a part of the earth, right? And um, our connection with earth from heaven to earth is to um, help to make changes here, right? So the emotional factors that come up during Scorpio retrograde have to do with um, you and your consciousness going into the in depths. It's, it, you know, it's going around, your consciousness is saying, okay, what do we yet need to purge? What do we need to let go of? Um, and, and you will just simply take time with yourself and listen to what it's saying. And, and that's like part of what the God in you is called for. So this is a cycle that happens at least, I think, three times a year. And it affects, um, say, like Aries, because Aries is a personal planet. Venus is as well. And Gemini. Um, I believe Virgo is in there, too. Anyway, it affects them differently. But for a person that is an Aries, it's going to slow them down because it's in the water. They're going to be frustrated because they can't move as fast because Aries has a lot of energy, right? It's slowing you down for a good reason, though. And that's um, that you need to retrospect. So the, 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 the conflicts with retrograde uh, comes up when we're trying to move fast, when we're trying to do, and especially in the water. Because tell me how fast you can really go in the water. I know that people can swim, and we got swimmers that they can do some hauling, but the water, the water is going to slow you down even more than it having to be in the earth. That means that don't push against um, the, the tides, the water. Don't push against it because you won't be able to win. What, what you do is embrace it because it's asking you to do this for your own good. It's asking you to search yourself. And it's asking you to deal with um, the, the areas of consciousness that Scorpio and Mercury would deal with. So I sent you guys some information on that. I got 511 on my phone. And um, the Gemini, um, when it's going forward, and you know, uh, what it consists of and what its affirmation is cannot change. Um, Gemini is, I am what I think. So in Gemini, you communicate to yourself. Um, if you've repressed thoughts concerning um, negativity, then those thoughts are going to come up to you because it's an in-depth search now. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's taking you deep in Scorpio. And um, it has curiosity. Uh, Mercury is Hermes. That's the Greek god that um, rules it. It's the messenger. So in Scorpio, it's helping Scorpio to bring the message to people concerning what uh, they need to be looking at. So, you know, that puts you in a perspective where if you've been looking at other people and what they do again, you need to look at yourself because your communication is not going to be possibly on point, right? Because you are not equipped in this season from um, October 31st until uh, November 20th to really communicate because you need to be communicating with yourself about what's going on with you, what you need to change, what is good with you and what is not, right? So the, it, the thoughts from higher form to mortal, I believe that um, it is a planet that deals with uh, consciousness and it, can, it will connect with Uranus, which means that there's a higher octave from Uranus that is bringing in information. And that's why, again, it's very important because you could be getting the new downloads um, and needing to introspect over that. And because you have not taken the time, this is the time to do it. New information has come in from a spiritual level. You didn't take the time when everything was going forward. And so now you need to take time with it. And so um, um, one of the dark sides of this planet is that it's a liar. Um, it's, it's the thief. Um, and, and I don't want to get into that too much, but that means that your self-observation is working because you want to master um, this here uh, transit 
because it's one that you went through. And if you look back to 2018 and even back to uh, 2012, 2015, you'll see some things that might come up that make you feel like something was, it is not right in you right now, but it could be that old stuff that you hadn't dealt with from those time um, timelines, right? And the reason why is because it's in a certain place that you may have had some trauma or some issues going on in a timeline and you want to deal with it right now because it's bringing it back rather than you continuously dealing with it and saying, this is what I got. It, 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 it's, if you didn't get it in 2018 of December, you want to get it now because it came over from 2000. Um, in 12 and two th to 2015, whatever you were doing. And um, it keeps traveling because it's saying introspect. Think about it. What were you doing? Not what others were doing. How were you dealing with people in the place of now Scorpio and its personality traits? What was going on? And its personality traits um, deal with the higher and the lower of man, um, the scorpion, the eagle. So some people actually can be rising because we have the phoenix here. Power and control, transformation, destruction and rebirth again. And so the balance, the balance comes in when you go in and it's, it's impossible for you not to go in because when you stumble over your words, you're like, I need to shut up. I'm tired anyway. You know, because in certain uh, planets are being um, um, impacted by this. Um, I have Mars in um, the seventh house. And so that means that the, the, right now, some of my energy has been low because of the, the Mercury aspect anyway. And it is going um, across into the first house from seven to first, right? Um, there could seem to be blockages. The thing about it is, is that people take it personal when planets are doing their thing and you can't change nothing about that. You have no control. It is a good time to practice uh, self-control and no control over things and others because if you try to push something in this here time, you're going to be very um, despondent, hurt. This is not a time when you can push things through. And it doesn't matter how other people deal with you on this, it is you bringing yourself to a cooperation with the planetary factors in the universe, because what it's going to do is cause you less stress when you do that. You either want to be a people pleaser or a universe pleaser. And that is a, a matter of fact. So um, let me look at some of the things that I did not bring up before, because this wasn't going to be a long class. Yeah, it does rule travel. And, you know, the issues with travel is simply that we are doing things still on an everyday, same day basis type of way when this retrograde is going on or the other ones. And whatever it's commanding, it's commanding that. So you're in this world and you're doing what the world tells you, but those planets, they say, we're doing what we say do. Now, which one is bigger? So when you're flying and when you're traveling in your car, the, the backup system of it all is because people are not thinking normal. They can't. Now, you can make some adjustments through your spiritual practice on this here because you won't be as um, maybe anxious and fragile um, because in Scorpio, you're going to be um, purging. Um, you can be crying and happy, but then there's a good side of it. There's joy there. You know, it doesn't have to be, oh God, I'm going to be purging. Thank God that you can purge. Some people are so mad and angry that they can't even get a tear out. No humility. Thank God for it. You know, so the purge is good because the universe is taking us into a place where we're going to experience more imbalance, yes, but it does not have to be us if we practice. 
Um, life is not as it used to be. Uh, we were living in a 3D type of world and the functions, and there are still people that are living there. We're pulling ourselves out of the, the matrix is, what hap is, is what's happening. So we're deciding to go with the universe. When you decide to go with the supreme or supreme um, creator, you got to do better. You'll know better, but it's not predicated on what others are doing. So yes, if you're driving and people are out of control, that's your time to practice your breathing and um, a level of meditation that says that I'm going to stay focused and I'm not going to deal with the distractions because other people don't understand that we are in retrograde and we can't push. Do you understand? It makes it easier when you educate yourself, anyone, on things because then it does not give your power away. I feel like anybody um, that just reads other people's inserts concerning fear-based information does itself a discredit because they don't look at the fact that the fear adds to more fear. That means that your consciousness will receive it because the world is fear-based anyway. So people, uh, they, they work by fear-based mechanisms. And because of that, they're able to manipulate the masses. Now, that's not towards any individual, but if you look at yourself and you say, you know what, I'm gonna do the best that I can through this retrograde season, even with the effects, then you're gonna do well. It's all what you perceive. I won't tell you that in the last couple of weeks that I haven't been um, experiencing, you know, some changes in my body because I've, I've felt it. Um, I have Scorpio moon and so then I have um, Aries um, I feel the um, the lessons lessening of energy, but I'm taking it easy, and that's that's where we're not even in retrograde. I felt some of the symptoms myself of retrograde about three weeks ago, because I said, "Oh, oh wait a minute, well, I, I I can't hardly think straight, and I'm fumbling over my words." Okay, but Mercury and and retrograde, I mean uh, Scorpio were already. Um, in a um, aspecting, you see? So the only thing that we can do is um, pray more and um, put ourselves in positions of peaceful atmospheres more. Um, your consciousness and the level of consciousness that you have will work it out you see what i'm saying the consciousness as you anybody evolves consciously they're able to look at things but look through them meaning like i'm in this room right now and because i'm focused on this discussion i don't see anything else i'm not even looking at the camera i'm looking at never give up on the wall so it's like a tunnel vision no one is in here but that's how you train your brain to do what you want it to do. So when your brain gets hyped up and it's retrograde, you know, Scorpio, and it's saying, you gotta get this done. You gotta say, no, I gotta go with the flow. Because Scorpio is a water sign. Some people say it's fixed, but all of the water signs, Pisces, um, I can't think of all of them. What, whatever the retrograde was that we had in July, yeah. It was a water sign as well. Cancer, yes, thank you, thank you. And um, we felt some of the effects then, but it was not like I felt in Pisces. Pisces is my ascending. Here I am affected by all of them myself because I have the North Node in Cancer, but I definitely did not feel like I did in Pisces. Um, in Scorpio, I feel like I'm going to feel even better because the effects of that uh, North Node um, retrograde and in Cancer, it didn't it didn't affect me like I felt, you know, then. So that's my optimism there. But the other part of it is to be prepared and to know that you can't push anything, to know that it's like going against the tide or a tsunami. If you're out in the water and there's a storm, 
are you going to struggle with it or will you just relax and you know and float with it because if you struggle with the water that's the part i'm i'm talking about and what the water is trying to tell you then you're going to lose a person that is drowning they have a better chance if they let go of the control trying to you can't control water so you look at it in that perspective and keep that and you will not really have to deal with a whole lot of drama it's like take that isolation time get quiet instead of having to communicate because those communicators the ones that have to know and they got to talk to you and get their point across you're going to have problems because this is not the time for you to really make your aggressive um thought processes or press press your um, ideas on people it's not the time it's a time for like you know maybe if you think about the bears they're you know they're getting ready to go to sleep just think how you can make changes in your life take notes any of um, the drama that comes up with other people walk away define drama conflict learn from it don't be a part of it you see so um any questions no questions um i'm wondering how this retrograde is affecting pisces specifically right now who is this my name is ashley ashley you don't sound like yourself no, I'm, I'm another Ashley. <laughs> There's two Ashleys. There's two Ashleys. Okay, Ashley, how did you get on the line? Um, I'm just here with Ashley. I was visiting her. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, how it's going to affect Pisces? Um, mm -hmm. Pisces um, deals with illusions and delusions. It also deals with the mystical side. So there'll be some spiritual aspects that will come up and that is tied into Scorpio as well because it is an intuitive planet or um, sign. And so it depends on how you fare with your, um, your spiritual practice, okay? But the um, main factor of it has to do with um, noticing the patterns of any kind of hurt pain or trauma that was um that you you may have um experienced and know that it's a time of clearing out and so your practice if you have a spiritual practice uh meditation and that is what gets us over um the um the um, symptoms of emotionalism that could take us into conflict. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. All right. And um, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. The eighth house deals with money. So um, money, um, taxes, people that have money that is set out, you could get some um, feedback on needing to pay money off or you know, there also could be some payoffs that you didn't even know about that comes up simply because it's uh, tax uh, and money um, focused kind of situations. The eighth house is across from Taurus. And so I did look at Uranus and because Uranus is in um, retrograde as well uh, until January, um, it's going to cause some um, positive things, but for Uranus in retrograde in Taurus. Um, and the reason why I looked up Uranus is because Uranus is a high octave outer planet. And it is a high elevated consciousness, people that are born under that sign. Um, because it's across from the eighth house, there will be some dynamics that happens from that uh, planet with Uranus in Taurus. So Uranus is retrograde in Taurus. And that means that the part of 
uh, materialism and money is going to be dealt with. The consciousness, people will think about their money more and um, how they're going to deal with their money issues. Now, I, I feel like because a planet is there and it's in retrograde, it's asking you, how can you solve the problem? Everyone has their own issues, but it's asking you, that energy is saying, how can you solve the problem? Will you continue on with this type of way? And you're going to answer, no, I want to change. And that's what retrograde is about. So whatever your money and your finance, financial issues are, you want to begin to just work with your consciousness. It's already telling us collectively. And those that are not listening, then they're going to have some... Um, They're going to have situations where they're going to have to make decisions to change. And that's it. Um, I don't feel like that's a fearful thing. I feel like it's a, a natural factor that when you say you're a spiritual, spiritual person with consciousness, then your money should be getting in order. You know, if, if you're not, then you're playing games with yourself because you got seven places in um, the hierarchy concerning life. And that is, you know, you got money, family, and all of these de deal with um, the circle on the wheel. So if your money is out of control, how can you take care of your family, housing, um, your love life? How can you be creative? You, you see what I'm saying? How, how can you really get up and go to work dealing with, you know, um, the structure, building things? Um, how, where is the order at? Uh, how could you not uh, deal with um, being a Pisces or, uh, and not be delusional about that when your money is out of control. You can't. And, and that's what the wheel of life focuses on, getting your house in order, getting our house in order. So we deal with this in a personal level and we deal with it collectively because the collective, even you know the people that lead the countries, They've went against the principles. The reason why we have discord in our lives is because we've went against the principles of the universe. There's been violations. People have hurt other people. The people on the planet only think about themselves. They don't think about anybody else, how they want it done. I'm in control, it's about me. This is a social issue, you see? So when you look at your house and whatever you need right now, these water planets are taking us into the depths. Uh, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancers, and all of us are intuitive, every one of us, no matter what sign. The thing about the ego is that you're born under the sun sign, which means that your sun is an ego and that sun has to be mastered because you cannot use your ego in spirit, which has to do with this planetary in energy. Now, this is a lot of, of information, but the bottom line is people are running from planets that go retro, which means retrospect. On what? If, if Saturn just came out, you're retrospecting on building and structure because that's what Saturn is about. I use, what do I use? I use whatever I can to create money. And I build people. How do I build? This is Saturn. How do I build people? I motivate them. And if they don't take the motivation, then I, I leave them alone because now you got another lesson to deal with. You understand what I'm saying? That's how you understand yourself and the energies better. No, it's not easy because it's a different way of relating. Like when I look at Mercury, I line it up with the Bible. Mercury is a messenger planet. That's just like Gabriel, the archangel Gabriel. He, he's a messenger, right? So in context, a lot of things have been put in a puzzle type of aspect we do not understand, and we have to bring it together. People run from the church because they don't understand. Bring the church into all areas because whatever is heavenly good is earthly good. And whatever is earthly good is heavenly good. Ain't no disconnection. And then there's no disconnection in between the psychological aspect because all of this communication affects the, our psyche. Now, you bring all of that together, theology 
astrology, cosmology, and then um, psychology. And you're gonna learn something. You're gonna learn how to deal with your life effectively. And when I say psychology, those that have been walking through of the houses with me understand we started in the 12th house which is the house of pisces pisces deals with on a, a um a weak level they deal with um uh, schizophrenia delusions okay so a person that is born in that planet um will have some some issues with psychological thinking now that's not just in pisces but I'm telling you why. I would come and I would begin to work with the therapist I work with and say, listen, we have to bring something different because our people are perishing because of a lack of knowledge. They're running after things and they're afraid. They have not sat down and take time with themselves to find out what is really true. You, you have the truth within you. And if you watch something on YouTube, let's just deal with people that watch. Listen, take it for what it's worth. And if it's not worth it, do not use it. The promise in life is predicated upon your walk spiritually and how you know yourself, educate yourself. Fear is the worst thing that a person can grab a hold to, assess it. You know, I've dealt with a lot of people and they'll say, you know, well, I'm not afraid. Well, good, because I've been. I try to work that out. You know what I'm saying? But I got to find the core of why it is that I'm afraid. And then I can deal with fear. But if you don't know what the feeling is bringing in that fear, if you don't know it, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna live with it. That's why people are depressed. And that has to do with energy. And it has to do with somebody that does not want to sit down because society has said you got to go to work, it's nine to five. Sometimes you got to take a break. Listen, I'm not telling y'all not to go to job, go to your jobs or go to work. I'm saying, listen to yourself and your body. Because if you do, you will not be afraid and you will not lose in life the way that many have. The body is one portion but the spirit is another. And if your spirit and your body is at, at one, you will not be confused about what you're doing. The separation of man in his physical body and his spirit, you, you have to become one. That means that you have to practice something. Now, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm saying what's going to work for you. What's going to work for you to get you through retrograde? Well, it's not just going to start right now because when you pray, when you meditate, it evolves your consciousness. It, it brings your consciousness up. That means that what bothered you down here in the lower self, the way that you dealt with conflict and you were appeased with drama and gossiping no longer appeals to you. That means that even when you get into a retrograde situation or the, the planets are in retrograde, you will not be stimulated to act compulsively. And that's what happens when your energy is trying to tell you, I need for you to deal with this. You worried about when you're gonna get a breakthrough, you can't because you're blocked. So, um, this is a lot, but it's the truth. It's the truth. So you can get some blessings and you can get some information that's gonna help you to get further blessings down the line because it's things that you need to take care of. But if you've been taking care of things in life in a way where you don't address them, this is a time where you're going to meet with the addressing and it, it, it will, it will feel like fear. It'll feel like it's more um, hyped up than it was, than it really is. That's why it's important to learn yourself, which means the self is out of order and learn how to become a, a person of peace. 
no matter what you're going through, you can walk by peace because you can't change anything or solve any problems that you have without peace because you cannot think without peace. You cannot think clearly. And if retrograde in Mercury with Scorpio is bringing you Scorpio issues, then you need to think about them. You, you, don't run away from what looks like a threatening factor. Find a way to deal with it because that's why it's telling you. A lot of people, uh, they think matter over spirit, but spirit is over matter. All of the stuff that we have, when spirit is over matter, and that's, that's how it is. Spirit is, is, is the one that gives the people ideas to create. This is energy. So how can you put your table over a new table that's coming? Why, why, why do you want the same table? Do you understand? Spirit, energy, these, the, this same retrograde in Scorpio that people are, are saying, oh my God, what's gonna happen? is the same energy that's trying to get you to a place of resolving issues. That's it. Resolving issues in money, in relationships, in your sexual orientation, because if you're aggressive or compulsive about sex, it's going to bring it up and you need to deny yourself if you don't want to continue in that type of appetite. Because Scorpios are very sexual. And they're manipulative. Do not, you know, deal with that. Deal with it. They're, they have tempers. Deal with it. Do not let it control you. Because it's there and it shows itself not for you to act out, but for you to say, oh, here you are. This is a part of me. And that's the part, you know, like when, when your, your counterpart shows up, People don't attribute it to the devil in you, but that's all it is. When your negative part is working, that's your devil. And as long as your devil lives and controls your life, you will never live. Because devil spelled backwards is lived. See, your past is dealing with you. Write it down. Devil spells lived when you turn it around it's past so it's bringing your past up okay all right and that's where we are tonight ladies and gentlemen so if there's no questions we're going to end this here meeting and um, I'm going to call it a night. I have homework to do. All right. Well, you guys have a good night and um, contemplate the information. I'll send this video into the, um, to you all. And um, thank you for coming on and thank you for your support. Okay. God bless. Miss Cameron is very informative. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Cam. Have thank a nice you, night. Kim. All right. Thank you, guys.